Hello, how are you today? I'm very good, very good. Okay, so what's happening today? I finally get my barbecue I've been waiting for. It's a Komodo uh, grill. I've ordered it from China. I've been waiting it for about four to six weeks. Um, I had to order it from China because I couldn't find it, anyone in Thailand that sell them. I did find one, which is a uh, Komodo Joe but they want 100,000 baht for it. So that's about 5,000 US, uh, 5,000 Australian dollars, uh, about 4,000 US. So I wasn't gonna pay that. Um, so this one's pretty much exactly the same. So I've contact, I brought it from the, uh, direct from the manufacturer in China, brought heaps of accessories. So it's like the ultimate, the ultimate barbecue grill. So, um, so there's gonna be some fantastic ribs coming and some brisket, some steak, some burgers. So the guy's gonna deliver it this morning. He's on his way now, it's about 10 minutes away. It does weigh all up with the accessories, 160 kilos. So we're gonna need a few people to get it off the back of the truck. So Ian's gonna come and give us a hand and we'll take it from there, all right? So here it is. All right, so just gotta wait for Ian now. And um, it's like on a big wooden crate, so that's good. Oh God, more cardboard. <laughs> I've never worked so hard in 10 years. I can't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So let's have a look at the uh, being packed well, I'll give them that. I suppose it has to, doesn't it? Ceramic. Yeah. And look. What? Ta-da! Is it in one piece? Nope. You big chunk messing up. <laughs> so it's all in one piece. So there it is. So you're just making like a tea thing there? Yeah. Ian the handyman. Yeah. Uh, and the same goes with that. So you just got to like yeah. make a tea system like this. Yeah. And then that's pretty much the same. So we've got my lamp. Got our screws all organized. There you go, it's a pretty good slash, isn't it? Huh? So I'll get you that review. <laughs> putting some on it. Huh? Eh? Yeah. It's okay, right? Yeah. yeah. I caught right. myself. So I caught myself. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Good, man. Yeah, that's alright. Yes, when I was a kid, it got banned. What, Benadine? Yeah. Why? Well, it's basically what, what they used to call it over there. Heard back. <laughs> But it used to go on everything. Yeah. And, uh, Fuck, it stings. <clears throat> yeah, they banned it because they said, like, it's fucking carcinogenic. There you go. Oh, thanks, thank you. Very good, very good. You can all like, it's a bit lighter now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, I mean, just make sure it's seated properly. These are in yeah. properly. Yeah. Oh, sorry, mate. How about there? Yeah. Meow. Hey, it's coming over to give us a hand. So, it's a two stage setup. So, this is like the uh, indirect heat. Yeah, I think you want to take one of the indirect ones out of there, Tommy, and then you can get the, uh, take that off, put your steaks on there, twist it around. I'll be doing ribs first, so, yeah. so if you want to cook direct or indirect heat. Oh, there we go. Okay, so here's the 10 kilo of heroin. Watch out for the spiders, Ian. Yeah. Watch out for the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> they pack it well, though, I'll give them that. They do. Uh, all right, so we've got some more boxes in here. Here we've got a cast iron oh, that's a lid. Oh. oh, here we've got cast iron pot too. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there you go. Hey, we're making dampers. 
We make it damper. Hey. Crikey. I might buy one myself just for the extras. <laughs> ah. There you go, it's extra do like. Oh, catch the roll of the wet there. Ah. That's a good. That's a cost of this. Hello, Ed. How you going? All right, Johnny. This is Ed. Good to see you, mate. So, how long are you down you know, from Brisbane originally? Brisbane. Let's <laughs> <laughs> start oh, that no, again. Yeah. <laughs> we start that again. Oh, no. Hello, Ed. Hi, right, Johnny. How you doing, mate? Good, thanks, mate. Thanks very much for that barbecue together. Hey, no problem. That's all right. Piece of kit that is. You... I'll be looking for the uh, invitation to uh, well, come and enjoy it. Maybe some. tomorrow night or on the yeah, weekend, yeah. I think. I'll be yeah, I'll fire that, it up maybe. tomorrow. Yeah. Get the roofs going. Yeah. Okay, so you're from England originally? Yeah. Yeah, and what, you live over here? Because uh, of Corona, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're yeah, stuck here. Work to go back for right now. Yeah. So maybe it's, well, certainly December, uh, maybe next March. Okay. It all depends what happens over Christmas and New Year. Yeah. After that, who knows? <laughs> Yeah, and so you've got a unit in Bangkok? Yep, you had a condo in Bangkok for about 11 years. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> right, so you live there? Yeah, near, near Victory Monument, very convenient. Yeah. Easy to get down to, uh, uh, jump on the Sky Train, go down to uh, Siam, Paragon, Sukhumway, Ceylon, wherever. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, good. Yeah, you can come visit sometime, John. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll have to have a beer with my little barbecue. Yeah. Thank you very much for giving me a hand. That's okay, anytime. I'll, uh, I'll invite you boys out for a barbecue, huh? Yeah. i just leave that there. I'll throw it in a bin. All right. All right Ed, good thank you. Good to see you. I'll see you boys in the next couple of days. Eh? Yeah, get, uh, get in there and cook that on. Kansas City sauce going. Well, to your marriage video. <laughs> no, no, no marriage here. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll have a beer. Maybe have a beer this afternoon or tomorrow or something. Well, All right. Good to see you, Johnny. Take, Take care, care, boys. Mate. Thanks again. Okay. Barbecue's on me. Nice big tomahawk. These are all the accessories I got with it. I've been buying stuff before this has arrived. So I've got some wood chips, some hickory wood chips. They're about 400 baht for about, uh, I don't know, a couple of kilos, I think. One kilo, two kilos. Um, this is like a, a stainless steel for the wood chips. You soak, you soak the wood chips in there and you pretty much just put that in the barbecue and that smokes the wood. So here you've got like two stainless steel. So you can actually have two separate layers in the barbecue. Yeah, you can have a cooler and then you can have like your uh, your, um, your heat deflector underneath that. So you can have like that directly on heat. So we get some tongs. So we get some tongs too. So you use them to, you use them to lift up the grill. So you're not burning your hands. Um, this is for the ash. So you stick, you stick your ash in here. In and this is how you can so you stick out, that's how you clean all the ash out. So I got a barbecue accessory pack. Um, some rubber gloves. <laughs> they're heavy duty rubber, so they're good barbecue gloves, these ones. So this is a cast iron pan I got. Bloody heavy this is. This would be, I reckon that weighs about five kilos, to be honest. I got some cast iron pans. So I got a small pan there, that'd be good for like potato gratin. Got this nice fry pan here. That's all cast iron too. Got a digital um, thermometer that can be wireless. Also, you can put, hook this up to an app, which is good. So that tells you what temperature the meat's cooking at and etc. Got a cast iron. This is for like smashed burgers, and it put like the char on the uh, on the steak. So that weighs about one and a half kilos. Just that. Okay, so you, you're going to use this for. Um, you get smooth side there. This would be, I'm sure you use that for like burgers and stuff, um, or onions or eggs or whatever. Um, use that for, uh, don't know what you use that for. This would be used for steak. So you can actually swap around your, uh, you know, you can have one corrugated iron, you can have one grill, you know. This is a divide and conquer. So you can actually have two or three setups going cooking at once. So that's good, so you can, I don't even know what most of this does, honestly. Uh, here you got some lights. So you just put them up there. You know, if you need more light cooking at night. This is a, so what you do with this is you put all your charcoal on there. You put that on your gas stove in the kitchen. You heat your, uh, your charcoal up. 
So when it's ready, you just come over and you just tip your charcoal straight in there. So it saves you having to light your barbecue from there. And because that's how you control the heat with this, with this vent here. You know, you normally, for ribs and stuff, I, I imagine like, yeah, you know, you have that back there. How you control this for temperature, it's all about your vents. See, like, yeah, you know, and just, so yeah, so very happy with it. Okay, guys, so this is a, um, this is a brisket I've brought. This is a one kilo brisket. So this was about uh, 500 baht. So it's a Thai beef, I imagine. Put some olive oil on there. This is just so for the seasoning to stick all around. You know, this isn't, you can use anything. You can use like mustard. This is a mix of salt and pepper, 50-50 mix. So it's 50% salt, 50% pepper. So you really want to get like a really good coating on there. So done. So you can see how like the, uh... so this is the other side. I was going to trim that fat back, but I think it's, it's going to be okay, I think. But like they say, fat is flavor. So as you can see, the barbecue is 275 degrees. So that's Fahrenheit, that's not Celsius. So I'll open that up. All right, so we're just gonna put this on there like that. Right, just give it. And this ain't gonna, this is gonna take about 10 hours, I reckon. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shut that. Might just get that a little bit hotter. Okay, so this has been going for about uh, one hour so far. Looking pretty good. So you, you just give it like a spritz of water. Just to keep it moist. Okay, so it's eight hours later. The barbecue is still sitting on 250 degrees. Hasn't moved all day in eight hours. All right, let's have a look at this bad boy. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. I still want to get a bit more bark on that, I think. So I'm gonna let it go for a little bit longer. Just look, oh, look at the juices in there. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna let it go for, so it's gonna be about another three more hours, I think, but I'm gonna get a bit more bark on there. So I'll spritz that. All right. So this has been smoke, this is, well this has been cooking for 11 hours now. It's midnight, <laughs> midnight on a Sunday night. Um, this has been cooking for 11 hours. It's been resting for one hour. So it's about time to cut it up. All right, so look at that. So everyone might think it's burnt, but that's how brisket's meant to look. Um, you know, you're meant to have like a, a crust on there. So hopefully it has been sitting at so just mm -hmm. oh, look at that. Oh my god, so tender too. Beautiful. Oh look at that. Oh <laughs> That's amazing. It's really good. So that's the brisket there. So you can just see how tender that is. And I've made some um I've made some homemade ranch here. So I dip that in. So it's coming back. I said I'd never do this again while I was living in Thailand, but Johnny, there's something cooking, is coming back. That's why I pretty much brought the barbecue. I also got a lot of inspiration from my friend Nate, that used to own the Green Onion and Wah Hin. Um, they had the American barbecue place. Unfortunately, they've moved back to Minnesota in the United States, but he shared with me so many amazing recipes that I'm gonna to bring to you guys. So, 
that's pretty much about it. I'm going to finish this vlog off now. I hope you will, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye. Hello, how are you? I'm Johnny. This is Sebastian. Welcome to Johnny's Cooking Channel. What am I cooking today? Eight hour lamb shake. Famous pot pizza. Mangai. And coconut rice. With some celery and some carrot here. Diced onion. Garlic. Thyme. Oh. Cumin. Cumin. <laughs> Amazing. Welcome to Johnny's Cooking Channel. Whoa! Oh my god! That's amazing! <laughs> Johnny, there is something cooking!